there is an inflection point happening in quantum computing. The number of logical qubits are starting to grow. Well, just like Moore's law would, I could, ex I could totally expect 10 times more logical qubits every five years, 100 times more logical qubits every 10 years. Those logical qubits would become better error corrected, more robust, higher performance, more resilient, and of course, will continue to be scalable. Talking about developing new materials, Jim, at the molecular level, perhaps, down the road. They do have this partnership with Novo on drug discovery. Look, I, and I've been waiting for that. Uh, recursion was supposed to be one, two, and the, the drug person is, is excellent. I keep hoping that they do some big deals on cancer. Uh, that you're able to, I've, I've been listening to a lot of people who claim they have AI, and it's starting to bother me again because they're, spread, they're doing spreadsheets and calling it AI. Uh, after working with all of the sites that are now saying they're really good at math, they're awful at math. What bank would let them in? But you're seeing, I mean, I did a piece last night that basically said, okay, here we go. I-O-N-Q, D-Wave Quantum, Rigetti, Quantum Computing, go get them. And David, look at that. I'm not saying I'm a sage. No. I am saying I that Jensen is, is giving the green light to a lot of companies that may mean not, absolutely nothing, but they have quantum in their name. Um, uh, I mean, Honeywell has been very honest and said, listen, we're not ready. Right. Uh, and IBM does have quantum. And that's one of the reasons why Autum, IBM is at an all time high. Uh, those are incredible moves. If you were lucky enough to have decided that quantum was where you wanted to be at the beginning of this year, you are very happy or even last year. Well, what do you mean guys? That? Uh, that? Well, I mean, I think it's uh, it's not uh, yet proven. Right. We don't know. But it's younger people who are really cashing in. And you've made you this sit here and tell people to buy smucker. You've made this point. Right. You've made this point about nuclear and certain crypto assets. Well, it's very disheartened. I'm, 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 I'm disheartened by it. Well, don't be disheartened. Why? By the way, what read, value you added want, do we you have? Want to get I heartened. read the names. You want to get heartened. Read Sam Altman's blog post from last night. It's entitled The Gentle Singularity. And to, you know, we had Jensen. I think when you, uh, when you talk about the leaders right now in terms of where the future is, it's Jensen. And it's a lot of it's Sam Altman. Well, they're great friends. And with this, um, you remember, nothing took off. I, I took Nvidia out a few until, things. Until that just, Sam I took chips. out a few things to struck sure, me. Sure, please what tell is, me something in good. In what is a letter that I think people should read because it's got a lot of different things in it. But part of it is, of course, talking about the, really the near-term advances that are, that are coming. Um, as for the 2030s, for example, he, sa he writes, intelligence and energy ideas and the ability to make ideas happen are going to be wild become wildly abundant. We hear that word a lot, by the way, right. abundant. These two have been the fundamental limiters on human progress for a long time. With abundant intelligence and energy and good governance, mm, we can theoretically have anything else. He goes on to say, if we have to make the first million humanoid robots the old-fashioned way, but then they can operate the entire supply chain, digging and refining minerals, driving trucks, running factories to build more robots, which can then build more chip fabrication facilities, data centers, and the rate of progress will be quite different. And finally, last part I'll take for you guys, and the one I've been focused on, there will be very hard parts, like whole classes of jobs going away. But on the other hand, the world will be getting so much richer so quickly that we'll be able to seriously entertain new policy ideas we never could before. We probably won't adopt a new social contract all at once, but when we look back in a few decades, the gradual changes will have amounted to something big. Well, okay. Because so nobody's going to have a job, so we're all going to be wandering around looking no, for some purpose. But we're going to have an age of abundance. An age of abundance. You drive me crazy. Thank you. Uh, we I've have succeeded. A birth rate. My work here is we done. We have a birth rate that's like the handmaid's tail. And we need people. And you may think that what, look, and we're rounding up people in this country and send them where God knows where. Uh, we don't let anybody in the country. We have a series of jobs now that the only people who really wanted them were people who felt, look, uh, this is how I can get my kid to a college, which is really kind of the goal. And you're going to need all the robots you can get. And you need robots making the robots. And I don't know why you are so cavalier about the idea that we have enough people in this country to do jobs. I'm not talking about the population at this point uh, in terms of the lack of growth in certain countries. Obviously, our country is far from in danger. South Korea, they got a real problem. It's well, something like Italy has a seven. In Italy, yeah. Uh, but all that said, I, I just want to point out that there are you're going to continue to hear 
whether it's this, you know, whether it's Musk or Altman or uh, Hassabis at uh, DeepMind, this idea of an age of abundance coupled with huge social changes that may have to take place in the social safety the net, perhaps, revolution. or a un universal income. It's coming fast, How Carl. About those Potentially. Now, I always sit here and remember, we talked about autonomous cars seven years ago, like they'd be here tomorrow, right. and they're finally just about and they're, to get here. And they're about to, to, get to fly, here. too. I mean, Joby so just got a lot things, of money from the government. You know, they're not always Joby's right. Joby's real. I got to tell you, Carl, David probably in another time sat here and bemoaned the seamstresses. <laughs> or the farmers. He misses the agrarian economies. He misses the Jeffersonian period, David. <laughs> the man brought us tomatoes, all right? So, enough.